Welcome to the DIY Honda Garage Channel. The DTC P16E2 indicates a PGM FI ACG LIN local interconnect network communication error, specifically related to the communications between the powertrain control module, PCM, and the automatic battery sensor, as well as the alternator. This diagnostic trouble code shows that there are issues within the LIN circuit which can affect the efficiency and performance of the vehicle's engine control systems. The PGM-FI, or Programmed Fuel Injection, is crucial for regulating fuel delivery to the engine, while the ACG, or alternator, plays a central role in ensuring that the battery is charged and that electrical systems remain operational. The sensor, located typically at or near the battery, monitors electrical parameters and relays this information. The communication error can lead to various functional failures, underscoring the importance of a thorough diagnostic process to restore optimal vehicle performance. Steps to address this code involve verifying the fault using the Honda Diagnostic System, HDS, to assess the situation accurately. The PGMFI system involves multiple components that work in synergy to maintain engine performance. PGMFI stands for Programmed Fuel Injection, which regulates the injection of fuel into the engine for optimal combustion. The ACG, or alternator, ensures the vehicle's electrical systems and battery remain charged, making it essential for the vehicle's overall functionality. The battery sensor monitors the charge state of the battery and communicates critical information to the PCM over a local interconnect network, LIN. The PGMFI and alternator assembly can typically be found under the hood, while the battery sensor is located on or near the battery. When DTC P16E2 appears, it indicates a failure in the communication channels among these components, which can lead to performance issues and necessitates immediate investigation. There are several possible causes for the DTC P16E2. One of the most common issues includes poor electrical connections, which can disrupt communication between the PCM and other components. Loose terminals may also be a contributing factor. Any slight disconnection can lead to significant communication errors that trigger this DTC. Alternator failure can hinder its functionality and may compromise its ability to interact correctly with the battery sensor and PCM. Additionally, a malfunctioning battery sensor may not send accurate readings to the PCM, leading to confusion in the LIN communications. Each cause requires careful evaluation to pinpoint the exact problem, ensuring a comprehensive approach to resolving the DTC. The symptoms associated with the DTC P16E2 can vary, but generally include engine performance issues, which may manifest as reduced power or irregular operation. Battery charging problems may arise, causing the vehicle to have difficulty starting or maintaining adequate electrical power for accessories. Additionally, warning lights on the dashboard may activate providing visual clues that there is an underlying issue that requires attention. In some cases, the vehicle might experience potential stalling capabilities during operation due to the malfunctioning communication chain between the PCM, alternator, and battery sensor. Attention to these symptoms is crucial as they often prelude more severe issues if left unaddressed. To start troubleshooting DTC P16E2, first turn the ignition switch to the ON position, also referred to as ON2, which ensures that the vehicle's electric systems are active while avoiding engine cranking. Next, utilize the Honda Diagnostic System, HDS, to clear the display DTC. It is important to wait for a full 10 seconds after clearing the DTC to allow the system time to reset properly. Following this, check for any pending or confirmed DTCs again using the HDS. This step is critical because if the P16E2 code appears again, 
it's indicative of a persistent issue. Conversely, if it doesn't show, there may be an intermittent fault that warrants further inspection of the connections and terminals. In this step, once you've checked for pending or confirmed DTCs using the HDS, specifically look for the DTC P16E3, which indicates a problem related to the battery sensor LIN communication error. If this specific code is indicated, it means that further investigation into the battery sensor or LIN circuit is needed, leading to the next troubleshooting steps. If DTC P16E3 isn't shown, redirect to subsequent steps to assess other potential issues that may relate to the original P16E2 error. Understanding these interrelated codes is vital for systematically diagnosing the vehicle. Take note of any additional DTCs as they can provide crucial clues into the underlying problem. For this troubleshooting step, turn the ignition switch to the lock position, zero, to ensure all systems are powered down. Once secured, disconnect the alternator 1P connector to isolate the LIN circuit from potential outside influences. With the connector removed, check for continuity between test points 1 and 2 within the LIN circuit to evaluate whether the wiring is intact. The test points will include measuring from the alternator 1P connector number 1 terminal colored tan to body ground. This is critical because a break in continuity indicates issues along the LIN circuit, necessitating further diagnosis if no continuity is detected. In this step, first jump the SCS line with the HDS, which stands for Scanner Communication System, to enable diagnostic features. Following this, continue to check for continuity between the alternator 1P connector and body ground while methodically disconnecting connectors one at a time, specifically the battery sensor 2P connector and the PCM connector B with 49 pins. This systematic disconnection helps isolate where the fault lies within the circuit. If the continuity goes away when any one of these connectors is disconnected, it indicates that the LIN BAT sensor or LIN wire is intact allowing replacement of the last part disconnected. Alternatively, if the continuity remains, there is likely a short within the LIN circuit that needs to be repaired. This step begins by returning the ignition switch to the lock position, zero, for safety. Then, reconnect the alternator 1P connector, ensuring that connections are secure before proceeding. Next, Disconnect the battery sensor 2P connector to isolate its influence on the LIN communication function. With the connector removed, check continuity between test points 1 and 2, as defined in the circuit diagram. This diagnosis will measure from battery sensor 2P connector number 2, which should be blue, to body ground. If there is continuity detected, it may confirm that the alternator is faulty but that the LIN wiring itself is operational, necessitating its replacement. Conversely, if no continuity is found, further investigation is required to determine if the fault lies within the LIN line itself. Once again, begin by jumping the SCS line with the HDS, allowing access to diagnostic capabilities for further testing. Following this, disconnect the required connectors namely the alternator 1P connector along with the PCM connector B, 49P. Ensure the test conditions are aligned as described to avoid inaccuracies. At this point, continuity between designated test points should be assessed once more. From PCM connector B, pin 16, TAN, to alternator 1P connector, pin 1, TAN. This assessment is vital. If continuity persists, it indicates the LIN wire is intact, and further action may involve updating the PCM software or potentially substituting with a known good unit. On the other hand, a lack of continuity suggests the presence of an open in the LIN wire that would require focused attention and repair before finalizing the diagnostics. In this conclusive troubleshooting step, 
repeat the process of jumping the SCS line using the HDS as per previous steps to maintain great consistency in testing. Disconnect the previously mentioned connectors from the alternator 1P and PCM connector B as required. You need to check continuity once again between test points 1 and 2. Conditions require that both connectors are indeed disconnected to maintain accuracy. If continuity remains stable, the LIN wire is confirmed operational. As with previous tests, either plan to replace the alternator or look at conducting final verifications. If you find any interruption, then this would lead to focused repairs on the LIN wire connecting the alternator to the PCM. Final repair verification is a crucial step to ensure all previous troubleshooting efforts yielded positive results. Start by turning the ignition switch to the lock position zero for safety. Once assured, reconnect all the respective connectors that were previously detached during the troubleshooting process, ensuring they are secure and free from debris or corrosion. Turn the ignition switch to the on position, which will power up the vehicle systems. After this, Utilize the HDS to reset the powertrain control module, PCM, thereby allowing it to refresh its learning parameters after repairs undertaken. Following these steps, conduct a check for any pending or confirmed DTCs once more to confirm that DTC P16E2 is no longer active, ensuring that all communication functions are restored effectively. Implementing preventive maintenance is crucial to avoiding ongoing issues related to DTC P16E2 and ensuring overall vehicle reliability. Regularly inspect electrical connections related to the alternator, battery sensor, and PCM for signs of wear or damage. Preventive checks can include visual inspections and utilizing diagnostic tools like the HDS periodically to catch any developing issues before they turn more significant. Additionally, keeping your PCM software updated can prevent miscommunications that lead to trouble codes, including the DTC P16E2. It is also essential to regularly monitor battery performance to ensure that it is maintaining adequate charge levels without fluctuation. Adhering to this preventive approach can lead to improved vehicle performance and longevity. In conclusion, understanding the implications of DTC P16E2 is key to maintaining vehicle functionality. A systematic diagnostic approach is vital for accurately identifying issues within the PGM FI ACG LIN communication pathway. Completing all troubleshooting steps with careful attention translates to better outcomes in repair effectiveness. Regular vehicle maintenance plays a significant role in preventing such issues from arising in the first place. It ensures that all components are functioning correctly, thus saving on costs related to repairs and downtime. Keeping all wiring, connections, and components in good condition can lead to a smoother, safer driving experience for the Honda CRV, proving the importance of timely and comprehensive vehicle care. Please like and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.